have something really important I want to talk about. I know it's Valentine's Day and part of Valentine's Day to me is about self-care and self-worth and self-trust and self-love. And because of that, I wanted to talk about stress a little bit. Um, I know it's not the lovey-dovey Valentine's Day subject, but it does impact our health, our potential. And that's really important to me. And I just want to give a call out that it's not about the stress that comes at us. It's about how we handle it and how resilient we are to it. That's important because you're always going to have stress coming at you. Like I've spent my whole job and career as a holistic and functional nutritionist, helping people identify hidden internal and external stressors. And today is a big, big stressor for some, you know, and anyway, identify these so that they can fix them, heal them, eliminate them. And how many times have you been told that stress was stress kills and stress is like, it's the root of all evil. And, and I, I've realized throughout the years that, yeah, that's true, but it's not the whole truth. Part of the truth is we need pressure. We need stress. That's what creates motivation. That's what creates change. And without it, we would just keep going and going. It's like when it compounds and compounds and hits a boiling point, that's when change happens. And that change, just like when you take coal or charcoal and you add pressure and you add stress and then it transmutes into a diamond, that's the same with us. We can't eliminate all stress. It's how we learn how to be resilient to the stress. When we learn how to digest, absorb, and metabolize and eliminate the stress and turn it into something else, that's what's important. And, and I, like I said, I know this is Valentine's Day and I'm not talking about lovey things, but what's most important on Valentine's Day is self-love. And stress causes so many problems within the energetic, mental, and physical states of our body that causes us to not live our life and be the best us, right? And so I just wanna talk about this because so many times you're told, cut out, it, cut out all stress. And you can't do that. We can't do that. When I tell people that, they're like, you want me to change my whole life. And that's partly why we don't make the changes because when it comes to being healthy, because one, we know that if we have to make certain habit change, it could cost us our job. It could cost us our relationship. It could cost us our friendships. It could cost us having to deal with things deep down inside we're not ready to deal with. And that is one of the hardest parts about doing what I do is because then you have to point these things out. But instead... What if it's more about the potential of learning how to be resilient to all of these stressors? There's certain things that will have to go, but most of it, it's like, how can, you know, I want to teach you just how to be resilient. I want to teach you how to transmute the charcoal into the diamond with the pressure because the solution isn't getting rid of it. And if you think about it, if you led a stress-free life and the people that you know that seem to, seem to do that, something pops up. We create stress and pressure when we don't have it because deep down, we need it. We need that to change. We need that energy. So one of the things I'm doing in my impact method that I do one-on-one -on -one with clients and in my impact mentorship that's coming up for practitioners is talk about this on an energetic, mental, and physical level. So I'm teaching something that's different, that you're, you don't have to completely cut out all the things. It's teaching the energetic, mental, physical states to be resilient and to transmute the pressure and the stress into positive change. And this is really important, especially as a practitioner when you're helping people and the things that they need to cut out can't be cut out. Sometimes they can, but sometimes they can't. And you need to get them relief and, and you have to create change as soon as possible. You can't just be like, oh, well, you, you can't find time for that, so quit that job. Or, oh, well, that's not gonna work for your family, so leave your family. 
but honestly a lot of times those are the main stressors like just being real so it's like okay how do we teach you how to be resilient that's the most important thing so if this is something that you've experienced or as a practitioner or as somebody who's trying to heal I would love to help you with this. I'm creating a masterclass all around this called Becoming the Diamond because that's really what it is, is how to be strong, how to be resilient, and how to transmute the charcoal into the diamond. So if you're interested in this, hit me up, hit me a DM, say diamond, give me a diamond emoji. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts around this as well because it's something that I find is one of the most important things in healing, but also as a practitioner, I see a lot of practitioners give up before they give in because, or, or get so frustrated and burnt out in their practice because they can't get through because at the end of the day, the client can't change their entire life to heal. So we have to help them become resilient. Thank you. <laughs>